I am Teacher Mean. Welcome sa ating math tutorial. In this video lesson, we are going to determine whether each given ratio is a proportion or not proportion. When we say proportion, it is a statement of equality of two ratios. To prove that two or more ratios are equal, product of the means should be equal to the product of extremes. For example, we have 12 is to 27 and 4 is to 9. 12 here is our first term. The second term will be 27. The third term will be 4 and then the fourth term will be 9. Okay, so 27 and 4 are called the means and 12 and 9 are called extremes. So to prove that 12 is to 27 and 4 is to 9 are equal, we are going to multiply the means 27 and 4. We have 108. Next is to multiply the extremes 12 and 9. So the answer is also 108. So therefore, 12 is to 27 and 4 is to 9 is a proportion. We also have another way on how to prove that the two given ratios are equal by using cross multiplication. Let us write 12 is to 27 as a fraction form. So we have now 12 over 27 and 4 is to 9 as 4 over 9. By using cross product, so let us multiply 12 and 9. So 12 times 9 is 108 and 4 and 27. So 4 times 27 is also 108. So therefore, they are proportion. Let's have another example. Tell whether 3 is to 5 and 18 is to 30 form a proportion. So, by multiplying the means, so 5 times 18 is 90, and then the extremes 3 and 30 is 9. So, therefore, 3 is to 5 and 18 is to 30 form a proportion. How about by using cross multiplication? Let us write 3 is to 5 as a fraction 3 over 5 and 18 is to 30 as 18 over 30. So using cross product, let us multiply 3 and 30. That will give us 90. And also we have 18 and 5. The product is also 90. So therefore, 3 is to 5 is equal to 18 is to 30 form a proportion. Okay, next. How about 2 is to 8 and 8 is to 20? Okay, so, let us multiply the means. 8 times 8 is 64. And then, 2 times 20, we have 40. So, 64 and 40 are not equal. How about by using cross multiplication? So, we have now 2 over 8 and 8 over 20. So, let us multiply... 2 and 20, we have 40. And then 8 times 8 is 64. So 40 is not equal to 64. So therefore, 2 is to 8 is not equal to 8 is to 20. And they are not a proportion. Next, determine whether each given pair of ratio is a proportion or not proportion. Let's have 2 is to 5 and 16 is to 40. And 10 over 18 or 10 is to 18 and 18 is to 10. So let's have the first example. We have 2 is to 5 and 16 is to 40. So by multiplying the means... 5 and 16, we have 80. And then 2 and 40, we also have 80. So therefore, 2 is to 5 and 16 is to 40 is a 
proportion. How about 10 is to 18 and 18 is to 10? By using cross product, let us multiply 10 and 10. So that would be 100. And 18 times 18, we have 324. So 100 and 324 are not equal. So therefore, it is not a proportion.